Feeling numb? Have you ever had everything and felt like you had nothing? If you're like me and most of my clients, you can totally relate because you felt that despite of having everything, you still have this void inside. If that's you, then this video is for you because I want to discuss how I found purpose beyond my possessions and how I was able to really turn my life around. So if you've ever experienced that nagging feeling of emptiness, even when you seemingly have it all, you have success, you have the money, you have the possessions. I describe it as having everything, but really having nothing. Then let me tell you, you're not alone because I achieved what society deemed as success. I had the nice car, I had the nice house, I had the beautiful family, I had a secure job. But deep down, I felt numb and lost, wondering, what's the point of it all? And before I discovered the path to real fulfillment, I was so fixated on material wealth and believed that it helped, or should I say, I hoped <laughs> that it had the key to happiness, because that's really what I wanted. But as I indulged in these possessions, the more I got, the more the emptiness inside of me just continued to grow and it got bigger. And I would continue to compare myself with others. And I could really only focus on what I didn't have. I realized that the more I chased external success, the further I was actually drifting away from really understanding my purpose. And I remember the day that I was walking outside that I decided to break free from this cycle of emptiness. And that's when I started this research. And I wanted to understand what's going on inside of our brains. What happens when we're actually happy? So seeking answers, I wanted to know what was going on inside of myself and why these material things were not bringing me the happiness that I was told that they would bring. And it was probably about nine years ago that I started this journey of self-discovery, right? I was exploring my passions, my values, my beliefs. And the crazy thing is, is it was so surprising how many of those, I had no idea what they even were. And during this transformational period, I confronted some really uncomfortable truths about myself. And that's when I started to realize that these possessions that I've been striving, achieving to get had actually become distractions. And all they were doing was keeping me from facing my inner fears and insecurities. And now I've learned that real fulfillment comes from aligning my actions with my true purpose. And the key to unlocking my purpose was not in accumulating more wealth or things, but really in living a life that's aligned with my values and with my true passions. So now I prioritize experiences over possessions and I invest in relationships and personal growth because I've realized that these things are what really give me the feelings I was actually hoping to achieve from more possessions. And that's so crazy because I swore that getting these more things was gonna make me feel happy and all this. But all I really wanted to feel was happy. I wanted to feel good enough. I wanted to feel these feelings of self-worth. But I wanna tell you that it was a struggle. And there's some days that it was really, really hard. But I work even today on finding ways to appreciate every moment. And I'm constantly reminding myself to embrace the journey instead of just chasing the destination. And really, my perspective's kind of shifted. And I'm able to find joy now in the simplest of things, which is crazy. I would have never believed this before, but, but trust me, it's possible. And the really big thing that's changed and transformed my life, really, is I've learned how to stop comparing myself to others. And now I focus on my unique path. So if you can relate to 
any of my past, any of my past struggles, I want you to know that that feeling of emptiness might be attributed to some missing feelings that you have inside. It's not that you don't have enough money. It's not that you don't have the car. It's not that you don't have the house. It's how you actually feel about yourself. And I want you to know that you have the power to change your narrative. I mean, if I go back and think how powerful I was, anything that I set my mind on to, any goal that I wanted to achieve, I was able to get it. So if you use that same tenacity, that same level of discipline to try to start to figure out what it is that you're hiding from, what is it that you are really seeking to feel, you can find a way to get it too. Because as a crazy analytical, non-woo-woo -woo engineer, I was able to do it. So if I was able to do it, I guarantee that you can do it too. So take some time to look within yourself and discover what true fulfillment really is. And when you want something, I want you to ask yourself this question. Why do I need that? And what emotion will that thing actually give me? And I want you to start to try to let go of the belief that possessions equal more happiness. Because if that was true, then you'd be happy now with the money and the car and success, all these things. Trust me, and, and maybe you can't hear me, but it's never going to be enough. If it's not enough today, it's not going to be enough tomorrow. So I want you to invest in your experiences instead. And your experiences should be nourishing your soul, and they should align with your purpose. So surround yourself with like-minded individuals who actually support your journey. And if you want to find a group of like-minded individuals that want more from their lives, then join me in my free Facebook group down below. Remember, just like you have the power to get what you want, what if you use that same power to break free from the cycle of emptiness and create a life filled with purpose and meaning?